this time we're going to talk about where we purchase our grooming bands or rubber bands and that is pretty much what we use to hold a ponytail in or piggies um, sometimes for grooming you just want the hair out of the way and they come in handy there are different definitely um, different options for grooming bands they seem expensive like at first when you buy them but for the most part you get like a thousand in a package sometimes more uh, and it really I don't buy them all that often um, I think I'm still running on the same supply of grooming bands from like two years ago so what I like to make the top knot, what I like to do is I like to match the color of the band to the hair so it blends in and you really don't see it. Like I have this brown color for Miss Lizzie and I buy all of these all of the grooming bands for their top knots at um, showoffdogproducts.com and what I like about them is they do come in the colors, they come in different sizes and they're professional dog bands. I might be able to get away with using one for an entire day without it snapping um, you know, that kind of thing. What I have right now is I've been using the quarter inch, which is very tiny. Um, Stew Man really needs, they come in different sizes. Stewie really needs the bigger bands, but I'm trying to run through all of my, my quarter inch bands. And after the quarter inch, you have the five eighths. That's really the best size, I think, to use with the Shih Tzu um, because you have some room in the band. I like to twist them around about three times just so it's not loose and not tight and they're less pr prone to pull their hair out. But quarter inch are great if you only want to wrap twice or um, like, you know, because I have two petite Shih Tzu, they're both around the five pound mark, five to six pounds. And the bigger bands didn't hold the bows in. They kept sliding around. It made me crazy. So I would sew quarter inch bands on instead. And that worked out really well. Um, there is a size down from the quarter inch. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. But they were great when Ellie was a puppy and only had like two little hairs in her top knot. It, it's all preference. I'm going to say that you could, I would buy a little bag, a quarter inch, buy a bag of five eighths, and then see how it goes. So Miss Lizzie for her top knot gets the brown bands. And I bought these little containers from the container store online because I just want it to be easy. I want to grab the right color band. I like to see what's in it. The lid is not secure, so you do have to be careful you don't spill it. I've spilled them in the past. Stew Man has a black band. That's what matches his coat the best. And these, I think, are the bigger size. They're not the quarter inch. They're one size up. Actually, it might be a quarter inch and a three quarter. I should have had all my ducks in a row prior to um, making this video today. But anyway, you can judge. You could try the quarter inch, try size down, try size up. They need the size up right now. I'll link everything in the comments section below, just so we're clear. But Miss Ellie gets fuchsia. And when she wears the fuchsia, is diff typically if she's got a pink bow, or when I just give her a ponytail or piggies with no hair bow.
The stew man, when he's not wearing a hair bow, I will grab a this neon green. And when Miss Ellie gets a top knot, because she's brindle and white, um, her like a clear band is completely obvious and a colored band is obvious. They call these show off dog products. Show off calls this a clear band. It's really like a nude color. I want to say uh, it's a little tinted. And I like these for Miss Ellie's top knot because being that she's brindle, which means she's different shades of like tan, brown, white. It's hard to match a band and these work really well. I like the band that disappear into the coat. So I buy everything color coded. Now when we travel or just for around the house, I have a small container, which is pretty much like drop proof you could drop it and the top won't come off i found them at you know a couple of them at the, the michael's craft supply i don't know if they don't make them anymore i couldn't find a replacement and i just store pretty much a bunch of bands together so i have everything i need different colors if i feel like changing it up and i store them you know in pretty much a drop proof container it's plastic the lid won't pop off and I take this when we travel or I can, you know, if I'm going into the living room, this is a really good option. So when you order from Show Off, this is how the bands, the grooming bands, they come in a package of about a thousand. It's relatively, I want to say $10 for a package of a thousand. I usually buy two together and I'm probably, it's almost two years since I've had to purchase bands. And I'm about due to buy another round. But they're latex, by the way. Some people have a problem or an allergy to latex, and you can find non-latex grooming bands. And in that case, what you would do is go on to any medical supply website, or I buy them right off of Amazon. And what you're looking for is a... quarter inch or five eighths inch heavyweight non latex band. They are orthodontic bands for braces. And they're, they come in clear. Sometimes you can find them in another color. But if you have an issue with latex, this is a good thing to use. I sew them on the back of any dog bows that need repair or dog bows that I make myself because they're very sturdy. I like to use the latex over the non-latex pretty much for two reasons is because I can get the non-latex in the color that I want and the size and because the latex bands when you snip them out of the top knot with your scissors your banding scissors they tend to get stuck around the top knot like you've never snipped it. And it takes a little bit more work to get the non-latex variety out. And if, you know, you don't want to spend a ton of money, which I don't always, and for those days you just want to be different, I buy child size rubber bands in the drugstore. I just got like 5,000 of them for $3 at like the Dollar General. And then also too, what I like to do is I like to slip a couple in my own purse or leave them in my car because if I have a hair emergency, they're really nice to have around. They work for both the dogs and for myself and they come in different colors and it's a really, it's a bargain deal. It is really a bargain. They're a little bigger. I'm, I, they don't even specify a size. You just have to wrap them around a million times, but it works fine. It's great on the fly. It's great in between. And it's, you know, a less expensive option that happens to work for us. So if anybody has any further questions, you can feel free to contact us. And we hope you enjoyed this video about grooming bands.